finally, uh, now that the ownership has changed. Um, and I'm going to begin by uh, just typing in the URL, solver.com slash Excelminer, uh, in my uh, browser. And here we go. I click on that. And it gives me uh, essentially a link. It says Excelminer, data mining, adding to Excel. Uh, these are the new owners, uh, as I said in my email. Uh, they just bought this tool from uh, statistics.com, which was the previous owner. Um, so there are a few changes uh, in how we go about actually installing this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the 30-day uh, free trial download here. And uh, it tells me that I must be logged in, and it will also send me a password. Um, so uh, what I can do is I can basically register instantly. and type in my name I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use my gmail account out here and give it a phone number and in terms of the address I can just say you are Minnesota and set it make it 65 my office number user type uh, university professor you can say student industry academic and click on join for free and once I do that uh, essentially uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on download data mining tool because that's the one I want and uh, I get the link uh, just go for the go for the 32-bit Excel out here don't click on the 64-bit Excel you can only use that if you have Excel 2010 I don't have Excel 2010 here so I'm going to click on bit Excel uh, it's a 20 minute file so it may take a little bit of time but anyway let me just click on it um, meanwhile uh, all right actually let me just um, I'm just gonna go ahead and save it on my desktop uh, for the time being click on save and while that's downloading you can see in my Gmail I've actually already got an email from these people and when I click on this email it'll actually have the password that I'll need um, to um, sort of uh, get going with the installation. So, so do that. Uh, and I'm not going to do it on this video to make it public, but uh, you can do that when you get it. All right. So let's come back to the screen. It looks like it's downloaded. Um, and I can click on Excel Miner Setup. Click on Run. Actually, while that's going through, uh, the the password comes in a second email which has installation password written up here. So, so keep that in mind. Uh, and I'm going to click on next. Um, I'm going to enter in the password and uh, in this case, uh, it is what came in the email. Next, uh, click on yes, I always do. Um, who reads bills? Large contract anyway. So click on next and it's going to go ahead and install it. And this is pretty much the same actually. Um, everything from here onwards is more or less the same that it used to be. Um, Frontline Systems has just added a sort of uh, password layer over it. But they are new owners, so I think they, they have the right to do that. Um, click on click on finish, uh, and uh, I don't really need to see what's in this readme file. Just sort of forget about that. So click on finish, and you would think you're sort of done, uh, but there's one more step uh, that you need to do. So click on start here. Go to your programs, and now there should be a uh, sort of a link out here for Frontline Systems, which has a link for Excel Miner. And follow that on to uh, Excel Miner, and you can click on this. And this is the way you would launch Excel Miner anytime uh, you're going ahead and doing anything with it. And what we what we do need to do is to uh, 
add in the license information that uh, I sent you in a separate email, and uh, and it's and it's sort of uh, you can see on this screen actually here uh, on on my other screen it's actually it's it's showing me that I need to do this and 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 I'm going to say yes I do want to enter a new license key and. I, you know, the name and the key should be copied exactly from the email that I sent to you. So uh, let me see if I can move this across here. So this is this is the kind of dialog box you get, and you enter in the name. You can go back to your email, but check it, check my email, and get the name and the license key, and then you should be done, pretty much. Right? So that's that's it.